Hi everyone and welcome to a new series that I'm starting on my channel. It's going to be a championship mode uh, like career thing with Casey Stoner on his Ducati. Starting off with the first race here in Qatar, got qualifying two first. I'm just going to do qualifying two, I'm not going to do qualifying one because I don't think there's really any point. But just to get through. The races are also going to be longer than my career mode so that I've been doing and tyre wear is also turned on. So yeah, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy. Now through the first two sectors I seem like ridiculously quick compared to the AI. But then I seem to struggle through the last sector, so let's see how this goes. Still got the ideal trajectory on corners only guys. I'm just I just I'm just not quite ready to be predicting my own breaking points. Although I may I've been making progress because I just did the Motor GP Pro Challenge thingy for esports and I passed it so my ideal trajectory can't be that bad. The algae holding us up there. I'm quite slow through that sector. Yeah my T temps up. I need to really learn to look after the tyres. Not let them deplete. Actually one tank down through that sector. Oh. Get it hooked up. Well, this is literally the first race I've ever done on MotoGP 17 with tyre wear turned off. Literally my first ever one. Oh, a bit wide. Six temps down now. I'll have to push it through this last set there, I reckon. It doesn't really matter where you qualify, as long as you're in sort of the top five, because then you just need to get away with the lead group sort of thing, but that was a delicious last sector. So hopefully that's going to be good. One second down. I think we're going to have to go again. Maybe this sector they seem quite slow. Yeah, we're five tenths up through that sector. They're really slow through there. But then when it gets to this sector, they just really struggle, so I don't really know. I don't really know where my pace is at right now. Because in qualifying one, I was like, whoa, this is way too quick. What's going on? But then when it came down to it, I was only seven tenths quicker, so... So we are up now. So. Two temps up now. Gotta really push it through this last sector. So we know we're slow. See how we do. Come on, P1 by one tenth. Oh, we got it. We got it. At least we got it. Right. Oh. oh no, we didn't get it. Jorge Lorenzo improved right at the end there, right at the death. 
And there we go. We get second place on the grid. Now into the seven lap race. A bit longer than I'm used to. So see how we fare. But let's get into this. I'm excited, you know. Never done a seven lap race. And never done a race of tyre wear. Like, got to be mad excited, isn't it? I'm just going to have to try and preserve the tyres as much as I can. That's the thing. Like, I'm going to really struggle. Because apparently, um, I've heard from some people that the AI don't, don't, aren't affected by tyre wear. I mean, like, they're just not affected. So, I don't know. Let's hope maybe that's been fixed since I last checked. And away we go. It's a really good start. Into P1. Take it nice and cautious through turn one. Still in P1. A really good run for you. We full on gapped them as well. Goes right up through this section there. Oh, up the inside goes Jorge Lorenzo. But we managed to stay in front. I'm going to have to go defensive into this right hander. Oh, contact! Pushes us wide. Rossi's into P1. Oh, contact again with Lorenzo. And, oh, and I return the favour. Hayden and Melandria Dyson for P4. But these more modern bikes, slightly more modern than Hayden's bike and Melange's bike, we seem to be getting away. Lorenzo's is the mo most recent out of the top three. Yeah. Definitely got an advantage on me though, through that last sector. Quick in a straight line then. Be this first set of the AI slow as well. I hope we'll be able to close up big time. And we do end up getting Jorge Lorenzo. Although he's going to be back alongside us pretty soon. As we run wide. Can we get it down the inside? Oh no! Contact with Lorenzo and down he goes. That was a bit of a silly move for me, not gonna lie. Let's try and close up on Rossi. Now Nicky Hayden's up in third. It's actually six laps, which doesn't make sense. I guess it's because it's a long track. But we set the fastest lap of the race by quite a margin, actually, about three tenths.
the Azzy is off into P4 now. It's a Honda 456, yeah, sorry, 345. And then I think Lorenzo got back on for P6. I'm not sure though. Ray is starting to go a little bit. Pedroza and Biagi are back and two, back and two. Oh, got it set off a little bit earlier. Or he didn't set off early enough, sorry. Mistake. Hayden's sort of closing on us through certain sections and sort of not. I think that bike's just a little bit slower on the straight, so on, a, so on the fast bits, me and Rossi just seem to get away a little bit from Hayden. He's getting away from the rest of the field. He's definitely best of the rest at this point. Lorenzo is going to be bearing down on Pedroza and Biaggi there. After his fall. Definitely got the speed on Rossi down the straight. We seem to be closing by a huge margin down the straight. And by turn one, we're right with him. Through sector one, we're right on the back of him. is going absolutely off the cliff right now. I need to sort of try and get past Rossi before my rears go off the cliff and then just defend. No rear. No. Oh, on the curve there. My rear is depleting fast. Very fast. Oh, we're not hugely far from the end, so I think I've looked after my tyres quite well. Nicky Hayden's flying behind us. He's away from the rest of the field. Tell you what, no one seems to crash in these classic categories. That's one thing I've noticed. No one seems to crash, really. We just lo absolutely lose Hayden on the straight. See, so the gap in the twisty bits, the gap comes down to about 1.3, but on the straight, it's back up to 1.8. I actually need to be really careful with the tyres right now. Ugh. Lorenzo's back up into P4 by the way, I don't know whether you saw that. We're virtually sideways into that corner. Just losing the tyres now. The tyres are proper dying on me. Bike does not feel good. This is the first time we've been right with Rossi though. Going into the final, well not the final sector. But in these sections, this is the first time we've been right with Rossi, but we're losing him again. After sliding the bike through.
is the closest we've been in the last sector though, I'd say. Spinning up the rear. The rear is gone. Given all we've got, it's not quite going to be enough, I don't think. Then into the final lap. And Rossi's got this one in the bag. Gap's going to be a bit less to Hayden, I think. Yeah, 1.6. He's definitely closed on us. He's right up there. On a, on a more twisty circuit, I reckon Hayden will be with us. But just not, not here. This is the closest we've been to Rossi, but we always are through this sector. That's the way it works, but the rear's gone. The rear has gone. I'm just going to try and nurse this to the finish now. Except the P2. Just try and hold off Hayden, who's in P3. He's proper catching now. Rossi has gone. Oh, I've got to be so careful with the rear. Oh, it's like they're on ice. But the front's not gone off the cliff, but the rear has, and that I think that's my issue. When the, if the, maybe I need to start pushing a bit harder, like at the start of the race, because if the front goes as well, then it'll be better. But Hayden is right with us now, pretty much. Shows what a bad tyre does to you. We've gone proper wide. Oh, Nicky Hayden goes down! He was right with us! He was right with us. Lorenzo's back up into P3. We're very lucky there. We're very lucky there. We are very, very lucky there. Valentino Rossi wins in Qatar. We're going to come through in second. It would have been Hayden third or maybe even second. He'd have just sorted that. He'd have just nailed that last lap. He managed to rescue a P4 out of it, but wow, that was close. Here's the order. Sete giving our Mark Marquez with non-starters. I don't know why, but anyway. But there you go. And we are second in the championship. Nicky Hayden chucked it away right at the end there. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Like and subscribe to continue watching the series. Comment any suggestions where I should take it. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.